Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm yet again checking in from an absolutely beautiful Hyperborea. Skadi, be blessed. Now, I thought to respond to a somewhat commonly asked question, and that is regarding what sort of supplements I take. So I will respond to that, and I will also give uh, the origin story to my own beloved Jotunheim Nutrition. Now, I have used supplements, more specifically whey, which isn't a supplement, technically speaking. We'll get into this in a little while, but I have used whey at least since I started in the gym all these years ago. 14 years ago, almost. So, uh, yeah, always been a main staple in my diet along with eggs and uh, milk. So those three always been with me. Um, great stuff, great stuff indeed. So anyway, as many of you probably know, I did have sponsorships back in the day, but um, when I became more outspoken, when I joined the metapolitical cause for Mother Europe, the um, yeah, they were fast to, to drop me, so I had to um, figure something out myself and uh, in retrospect it was a bit uncomfortable then losing a sponsorship but in retrospect it was one of the best things that have ever happened to me because that forced me to create my own things and now I can be totally in charge of the products myself and make them however I see fit and of course I have a lot of help from my beautiful wife Julia as well in this regard so uh, yeah that feels absolutely great so thank you to all sponsors who um, did not want to work with me it's um, it was beneficial in the long run and now I have you know a um, supplement company I really enjoy running and uh, yeah feels great in uh, in every way and um, yeah of course I have the Jotunheim way uh, as a main staple now a lot cleaner and better than the normie brands I uh, had before so anyway on to the actual supplements I do take so yeah whey technically not a supplement I view it as a food it is a food it's literally milk so it's a dairy product um, in powder form so if you look at the ingredient list of Jotunheim natural whey it's only milk so that's what it is it's milk and then you can blend it together with some more milk you can throw in some raw eggs some bananas some frozen blueberries some collagen and then you will have my standard smoothie that I drink every day so I made a video on it as well by the way so do try it out only if you have some some good eggs of course because it can be a bit dangerous if you don't have access to clean eggs but I drink raw eggs along with my whey uh, tastes great and feels great and um, yeah you can feel on my energy levels there that I have absorbed my daily smoothie so anyway first thing uh, whey uh, dairy products in general have been main staple for me throughout all my life you know a lot of milk yogurt and then whey so all of these blessings from Ald Humbla, the great cosmic cow so I love cows and I thank cows I'm very thankful to cows for the strength and vigor they have given me through dairy products basically so milk and uh, I use a lot of butter as well so my morning coffee it's a teaspoon of butter, a teaspoon of coconut oil, and then of course my gourmet coffee. So that's the breakfast bulletproof coffee. Great stuff, great stuff indeed. Now of course if you are lactose intolerant, then yeah, you will have to make do with other uh, protein sources. But for me, as with my forefathers, heavily reliant on the blessings of the cow. So for me, I dairy max. I uh, yeah, the main the main bulk of my calories um, it comes from. The, uh, the sacred blessings of the cow. Now something else, my second supplement which also isn't quite a supplement, it's more of a food and that is collagen. Now of course you can eat bone broth, um, you should do it maybe once a week, if you don't then definitely do take collagen. I take collagen every day in my smoothie, so a scoop of that along with uh, two scoops of whey. Um, again you don't need to use collagen as a powder, you can also use it, uh, you can also drink bone broth if you have that as a standard thing in your diet. If you don't then definitely take collagen, no question about it at all. So those are the first two things technically not supplements but uh, I included them anyway so two things there whey protein and uh, collagen then we have vitamin D which you can of course get via the Sun you can get it via some good food as well but I've always supplemented with it ever since I was 22 or so so almost as long as I've taken whey 
and that has been a good effect especially on my immune system so it's quite simple if you don't eat enough fat fish for example or if you don't get enough sun yeah do take some vitamin D uh, really simple stuff there not much more needs to be said about it um, then of course during summer I don't take vitamin D it's only when it's um, winter like this then we have zinc which is a good supplement to take if you are deficient in it and if you are deficient in it it might negatively impact your testosterone so I did a blood test a few years back and my zinc was quite low and my testosterone wasn't as good as it could have been so this was back in 2017 so therefore I started supplementing with zinc to increase my zinc levels and that also I can only suppose increased my testosterone because in recent years my testosterone has been higher than it was back in 2017 uh, then it can also positively impact your libido and also your immune system so zinc can be good to have at hand you don't need to take it every day and if you're unsure if you need it or not just take a blood test and see okay am I good with zinc or am I not good and then you supplement accordingly and by the way this can be used to determine any supplement if you're unsure if you ta should take or not um, moving on to vitamin C I don't take vitamin C in supplement form because it's so easy to get via fruit and you should fruit max anyway to acquire the esoteric knowledge of the Cathar pure ones. Then we have creatine, it's a supplement that has stood the test of time, you know, over multiple decades been proven in scientific studies to actually boost your athletic performance somewhat and it's all natural as well so you won't have any ill effect uh, on your hormonal system and this by the way I thought to mention it whenever we're talking about natural bodybuilding and everything like this so the reason supplements are okay most supplements of course you can take too much of some things such as caffeine and it might negatively impact your sleep and that's of course not good but if we talk about the difference between steroids and supplements is of course that steroids it alters your physiology and and negatively impacts your own hormonal uh, production uh, so be cautious when you're older of course if you have low testosterone you might want some TRT or something like that testosterone replacement therapy but when you're younger do do not do it it's, it's not worth in the long run you can as I've mentioned before you can train naturally like myself and then you can rest on your laurels when you're older you can rest on the hard work you have done in um, in previous years now of course you still need to train but I say that I don't need to train as hard anymore because I've already built up my physique it's easier to maintain a good physique as long as you eat well and uh, train every once in a while as well so great stuff great stuff indeed and then we have some smaller supplements that might not be super important or necessary you can use them if you like I usually have some glycine in my tea at night instead of sugar and it has a few interesting studies as well glycine on health related matters so you can check that out then we have magnesium as well you can take some magnesium if you feel tired it's one of these things that you know help with basically everything especially if you train hard it can be good I use magnesium also not a full teaspoon but uh, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon along with the glycine in my tea as well so that was the list of supplements I take on a regular basis and of course the main thing I must note is that you have a good overall diet so make sure to eat a lot of eggs for example and uh, dairy products in general if you can tolerate it if you can't tolerate dairy products then you will have to eat other uh, things more meat um, and also something to keep in mind is that calcium and iron they don't really go together so don't drink milk with meat you have to separate them so separate your dairy intake and your iron intake so meat and milk for example you need to separate them so you can have a more dairy based lunch and then you can have meat for dinner but don't mix them so they don't mug and cancel each other out of course it doesn't they don't cancel each other out completely but they can obstruct the absorption so you can so you can keep some distance some time between consuming the two but yeah otherwise a lot of fruit of course and uh, meat is also superfood i might add eggs superfood all manner of dairy superfood whey is a superfood um, i'm quite enthusiastic about it as you might note from my tone of voice but um, yeah great stuff great stuff indeed so anyway hopefully that was useful and do of course check out all links in the description box below and you vote with your wallet so if you like my holy work my metapolitical work you can of course support me by getting said supplements via some of the links in the description box below and that is also a vote for my political views and a vote against everyone else's political views so uh, 
the goal was always for me to have that supplement brand and being able to sponsor myself so that no one can say to me that you know we don't like your political views so we cancel you now you can't cancel me because I have my own I'm my own man so uh, yeah great stuff great stuff so anyway thank you for watching thank you for your support XOXO boom